Hello. This video presents a solution to an annoying quirk on the Electribe. If you want to play chromatically, chromatic mode is organized by half tones one after the other, which isn't intuitive or customary. It's hard to play chord figures if you if you're used to playing on a piano, and just not natural. What Korg should have done is arrange the notes like a piano keyboard, and you see this on some other devices. Hopefully one day in the future we'll get an update from Korg that fixes this, but meanwhile, here's a little hack that can help. I'm going to use part one as my control track, or control channel, and reduce the levels down to zero, so that it doesn't make any sounds. The way the hack works is that the bottom row of the pads is a regular major scale, but the top row has the chromatic black notes. The bass sound you're hearing is coming out of part two, or channel two, being controlled by channel one. If I want to hear a different sound, I go up to octave four, select the part I want, in this case part three, and now I can play that sound. Pads one and eight go up and down octaves. So pad one goes down, pad eight goes up, and that way I can play the entire keyboard range. And of course, chords work and velocities work as well, including all the notes on the chromatic scale organized like a piano. So just to recap how to use this, go to octave four to select the target part. I'm going to go back to bass here and go down to octave two to play the chromatic piano keyboard. Now, this hack works not just for playing live, but also for recording. Just hit record and start playing. Once you're done your loop, disable recording and use this shortcut to quickly clear the sequence on track one or whatever the control track you're using is. Now I want to go ahead and add another layer. So I'm going to um, go to octave four and I'm going to select part three. I could select any other part, by the way. Um, so any of the parts are controllable very easily from the control track to, uh, to any target track or any output track you want. But I'll go to three, go back to octave two to play. And now I've got a completely different instrument. Of course, I can record chords as well. Disable record once you're done. It's a good habit to immediately clear the control sequence and you're good to go to add another track. So how does all this magic work? There's a phone connected to my Electrive and that has an app called Lemur on it with a template which is this hack. The template screen shows you which channel is the control channel, which channel is the output channel, uh, what octave you're on, but you don't really need to look at it. Um, and you saw I recorded the, um, the entire first part of this clip without using the phone. The text on the app is just uh, instructions for how to do this, but simply connect your uh, phone to your USB port and just uh, noodle away. You don't really need to touch or use your phone. Just connect it and forget it. You'll notice the, uh, the octaves and the target channels and control channels all change um, on the display on the app. So if you want to make sure everything's working well or just connected, uh, that's a good way to see that uh, everything's hooked up properly. If you want to change the control channel, you can do that from the Electribe as well. Go to octave zero, that's the one below one uh, where the octave light starts to blink and then hit the pad which represents the part that you want to be the control part uh, and you can pick any one i'm going to pick pad seven which represents part seven here and of course once i do that the control from channel one is going to be disabled so if i go back to octave two the keyboard won't make any sounds anymore uh, because i need to move to part seven 
to now be my control channel. Once you've selected the new part to be the control part or the control channel, um, don't forget to set its levels to zero because you don't want it making sounds, you just want it creating MIDI events which the uh, lemur template can then convert into notes on the output channel or the target channel that you select. Oops, that notification is not part of the tutorial. So go to octave 4 on the Electribe, select the target part, and then um, you're free to play away. Don't forget to go to octave 2 if you want to play notes. Pad 8 goes up an octave, remember, pad 1 goes down, so you can quickly change octaves as you play. You can always look at the phone display if you sort of forget where what your octave is, what your control channel is, what your output channel is, all that is displayed here on the bottom. The Lemur app has a lot of features, but you should really only focus on the ones that are important. Just make sure that um, the Electrive is connected on MIDI 0 both in and out. So we're getting MIDI data from the Electribe and sending MIDI data back to the Electribe, just switching it around. So that's it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask. Uh, if anything isn't clear in this tutorial, I know it's a little bit complex. Um, I'll add it as annotations in this part of the clip or in the relevant part of the clip. Uh, unfortunately, you can only see currently annotations in YouTube on, um, on a desktop, so make sure you're using a desktop computer. Uh, if you have questions, there might be answers in the annotations. Thanks for watching. If you like this uh, clip, hit like. If you want to see more, click subscribe. See you later.